Hello, you're very welcome. I'm going to show you how to draw different facial expressions today and how to get a variety of face shapes to your characters so they don't all look the same. Alright, who's with me? We'll start off with a couple of basic head shapes or face shapes. And with you know, when you're drawing cartoon characters you can really draw any shape you want and just find your own style. But we'll we'll do a couple of basics or we'll start off with the typical roundish one then we we'll do a long one maybe a moon shaped one or pear, upside down pear drop or whatever that shape is I just drew and um, maybe a sort of a almost a triangle, like a roundish triangle. Okay, there's four random, random face shapes. So let's start with the round one. Um, you can give them, give them a little bit of hair on top of the head and nothing else if you want. We can give them Big pug nose. All this is completely up to you, but we're just going to show you just a couple of different shapes and a couple of different expressions and how you can make your characters come to life. So let's say this is just a big happy head. So the smile is the most obvious thing that makes it there. Maybe give him a couple of little cheek indents there and you could have the mouth just closed like that or just to give it that extra little bit you can have it open like that and give it a little shadow of the bottom lip and then you may see the tongue in there and then you could shade all that in so just big round eyes or oval eyes, whatever way you want to draw the eyes. Uh, pupils looking straight out, for example. And for a happy face, I guess, or actually this is a pretty excited face, so we'd raise the eyebrows up, raise the eyebrows way up at an exaggerated height. And see, so going, whoa, look at this. What is he saying? Two ears. So a nice way, easy way to draw ears is just to give this inner shape and then coming out from that another little circle. So you got your outline and then you got this one and this line. Okay, but again all ears are different. I didn't even give him lugs. You can do all that. So there's excited. Let's take this long face. Uh, let's make this one grumpy. Okay, so we'll just give him a big deep brow over his eyes. Let that come out both ways. And the nose come down like that. Again, you can do this any way you want. I'm just showing you how, just ideas and expressions. So we'll take the nose and the nostrils. I always like to do the nostrils. Some cartoons don't. That's fine. Now, let's just to give him that sort of grumpy, sort of intimidating look, let's hide half of his eyes on in under that big brow there. So. Let's just come here and then put the pupil up to the top as if he's just looking up at you. As if his head is tilted down, he's looking up at you and he's watching you and he's not happy. So then, if he's got a grumpy head, he's going to have a grumpy mouth. And I've deliberately brought that out wider than the guide line, just so then you can finish out the chin and it looks like he's sticking that out. Now, even though still keeping this long elongated face, 
we, you can still make nice shapes from that. So we can give them a cheekbone and then coming in. So out, in out to a point and then in. And now we could furrow the brow down a little bit and give him a couple of wee indents there. Looks like he's wrinkled. So not exactly angry, just in a bad humour. Um, let's give him a little bit of hair at the sides. And ears. Right, so he's just looking down his nose at you, and what a nose it is. Okay. Uh, right, take this pair, upside down pear drop shape, and let's make this expression interested or suspicious. Let's go suspicious. So we'll do him slightly sideways. Uh, I always start off with the nose just because it's in the centre and it guides everything else then. So let's take this nose out the side. We pug nose. Right, and then the nostril. So give him a wee brow here and take this right up and down. And then the other one doesn't have to be as high. We can keep it. And a little bit lower and coming out past the outline, past the guide line, and then up, sort of in and out. Now, take a big A here. And because he's suspicious, you'd sort of, sometimes you squint a little bit when you're suspicious. So we'll take his bottom eyelid and bring it up. Okay. And then do his eye then, it's looking straight at you. And then you do the other eye in here, it's half hidden by his nose. Give him a few wee lines around eyes, like he's been up all night, uh, minding other people's business. Mm. I like to do a little line down from the nostril sometimes, and that's that little, it's the little cheek indent. So again, we give him a bit like this by his jaw. Let it stick out over, come in for the lip, and then out. And then finish that one. Give him his ear. So you could leave him bald or you could bring the hair up here. Just because he's that sort of shape of a face, we might as well exaggerate that bit with the hair. Let the hair just bring that even further. Give him a big sort of lock coming down there. And tidy up your lines. Okay, so so far round face, long face, upside down pear drop. Then sort of a triangular face. Um, okay, we haven't actually done a girl yet, so let's do a girl. What expression? Um, almost like she's going, wow, I did not expect that. So let's give her her nose, her nostrils. Give a wee line here, just to show where the nose goes up. So the nose is sort of just a little round thing, with two nostrils outside, and sometimes you can do a little, the bridge of the nose too. So it's a, whoa, I didn't expect that. So she could be whistling, going whoo. So sometimes when you do a wee whistle, it's nice if you put the mouth to one side. So it's just a little circle, a little black dot, and the bottom lip. Don't forget the bottom lip gives the mouth a little bit of depth. So you could, I suppose she would have wide eyes if she was seeing something that uh, made her look like that. So 
the direction of the eyes shows the direction she's looking so let's say she's looking up and to the right get both pupils in the same spot a couple of wee lines around the eyes I like to do that and that cheek so um, the eyebrows then I suppose you should look in would be a bit like the force boys except let's exaggerate them even more so let's take them right off the top of her head dang like they've just jumped off her face she what she's seeing is so unbelievable we can give her a wee fringe now and sort of the hair coming down So you can see that you can dress up the faces any way you like. You can make them any shape you like, give them any expression you like, and also dress up any way you like. So give them hair, don't give them hair, give them a little bit of hair, give them ears that stick out, give them little tiny ears, little pug nose or a massive big nose like this. Just have fun with it. Now I made a, a disaster of that line. It was better before I touched it. So I'll have to tidy that up. Okay, there's just a few different face shapes. Now we're going to go into uh, more expressions. We're going to do some different expressions now. Um, we'll start off with angry. Because that's a really easy one to do. So all these are just very rough face shapes. All more or less the same. Because the idea of this is just, just to concentrate on expressions. So... I'm going to do all these face and front, none from the side, just to make it easier. Angry. So the angry eyebrows come down into the centre. Okay? Down into the centre. And eyes then come out of that. Below that. Any sort of shape of nose you want. And then, of course, big grumpy mouth. And the eyes. So then you can add a wee bit of detail to the eyebrows then. And the further down you bring them eyebrows, the angrier the person looks. So the more of the eye you cover, the angrier they look. Okay? And then you can just add on the rest. Whatever way you can give them a chin if you want. Let's keep him bald. Okay, so that's angry. Next one, uh, another fairly easy one is sad. And the reason I want to do this right after is because the main difference is the eyebrows. So you see the eyebrows in the angry is going down into the center. So sad is the opposite of that. The eyebrows go up to the center. Okay, so it's the exact opposite. And then you can take the eyes below that. See, already, even without any detail, it's starting to look sad. So put the eyes looking whatever direction you want. Always make sure whatever you put the pupil on one side, put them in the same place on the other side. Unless you're making your character cross-eyed, of course. Uh, um, we can give them, say, a different shape nose than the last one, just to vary it about. Now the mouth can be the same, you can do the exact same mouth if you want, but you can see that the only difference is the shape of the eyebrows. The only difference, are the, actually I'll, I'll do the chin and all the same, and the ears, just so you can see that the only difference in them two faces is the angle of the, the eyebrows, and that's angry and that's sad. So again then we can put a wee bit more detail into the eyebrows. Give some hair here. Little ponytails. So you can see there the difference, the difference the eyebrows make. Total change in expression. 
I'll give him a few worry lines around the hay as well. So that's sad. So then I suppose we should balance that out with happy. So this is an easy one, just a big smiling mouth. We indent at the corner for the cheeks, a little line under it for the bottom lip. The nose. And let's do different shape of A's this time. Let's see the A's closed. Because just very happy, so happy that you're just squinching your face in. The hair coming down, ears. Simple as that. So the mouth going down and the mouth going up. So the d difference is the mouth going up and the eyes are a little happy. The eyebrows then can be relaxed. Okay, so they're not tense like in the first two. They're just nice and relaxed and just in their normal rest and position. So let's try scared. That's another good one that you might want to do sometimes. So nose, let's just do a sort of a round nose in the middle of it all. Scared. Big A's. Yeah. Nothing screams scared. Better than big A's. Let's do the pupils. And you could also do a little bit of bloodshot in the A's. Like, whoa, the A's are about to pop out. Can't believe what they've just seen. Now, the mouth. Mouth will be down like that at an angle. And then also could be wide open. So come up a little bit there and you might see the bottom teeth. You might see the tongue. The rest then would be blackened in. So then you're going to see this bit of the bottom lip coming outside. Eyebrows right off the chart, right off the top of the face jumping out at you. Then the ear can be any way you want. But so the main thing is that the eyebrows are jumping off the face and the mouth is dropping wide open and dropping way below way below the jawline. Okay? And you can exaggerate that as much as you can as as you want. And these are only guidelines but they're just to show you uh, some ways of doing these expressions. There's loads of other ways and you'll find what you like to do yourself by experimenting. But this is just to sort of give you a little heads up and a starting point if that's what you're looking for. Content. Let's, let's do content because that's a little bit trickier. So what's content? It's happy but it's peacefully happy it's not you're not overly excited about anything you're just just happy happy to be where you are happy to be doing what you're doing so let's uh, do content so i probably won't make the mouth as wide as in the happy one so let's just do a nice gentle smile in the mouth little nose here Try to keep changing the nose about to do different noses in each one, just to vary it about a wee bit. So maybe I do the bottom of the eyes, just like kind of like as if they're closed, like in this one, but then bring the top of it up like that. So it's not big round eyes either. Cause there's no, it's just a relaxed face. There's no tension anywhere. The eyebrows then can just be up in their normal resting position and the eyes can be just sitting in well, any direction you want really. Let's give her curly hair. I haven't given any, anyone curly hair yet. Okay. 
Okay, so you can see it's the same more or less face, just different expressions and then different hair and different added on, different details added on bits. So that's content. What uh, let's finish off with zombied. Zombied? Is that even a word? Zombified? Don't know, but anyway. Dead to the world. So let's do a big wide nose this time. Just just cause. And that we cheek indents coming straight down. The mouth then can be just hanging open, lob sided. So it's just hanging open, it's just got no control over it. Zombied or really tired, whatever, you just haven't the energy to control your face. Actually, let's make this a proper zombie. Let's come in here with a big brow and do the eyes in under that. Of, and that could be lack of sleep can be causing them bags under the eyes or it could be just that this is a proper zombie dead to the world so let's bring the cheeks in here and the jaw so I suppose if it's going to be a zombie we can do broken teeth and some teeth missing Shade in the dark part there. And uh, we should probably give it some crack lines as well, just like the skin's all dried and old. Bring it up here and give it a little bit of hair for the top of the head, whatever it has left, whatever it hasn't fallen out. A couple of creases in the forehead. Can't be easy being undead. The ears if they haven't dropped off yet. <laughs> now you can see there he actually looks less zombied and more angry because I have come down slightly with the angles there so I'm going to pull them back a bit and straighten them out a wee bit so they're less pointing down to the centre and that should hopefully help. Okay, so there's a couple of different expressions that you can practice. Just to remind you that you can dress them, these up in any way, um, let's, give, let's give some of them a few accessories. Let's give this angry man, uh, I don't know, a cowboy hat. So let's make him a cowboy. So we take it from back here, swing it in here, and then the hat. Be up there, so you can rub out the top of that and give it a wee hat band, a bit of shading. Right, so you see, straight just by doing that, he's a cowboy. Um, <clears throat> let's give her a few bows in her hair. made a few accessories. Um, he could be an astronaut, saying we've just sent a rocket to the International Space Station, let's make this guy an astronaut. So, take his helmet out there, coming in here, and then you would probably, the visor would probably come in here. Don't worry about losing a bit of the face. Keep as much as you want or as little as you want. Another visor here. So then any bits that are behind the visor in the helmet just rub them out. You'll not see them. A wee bit of the ear. Right, so suddenly he's an astronaut. Right. Probably be pipes running from the helmet down into his suit. Right, astronaut. Simple as that. 
What else? Uh, glasses. Let's give this guy some glasses. Big ones, because he's already got big A's, so we better give him big glasses. See how that it just accessorizes the face. It doesn't uh, it doesn't change the expression or anything that you've done before. It just accessorizes. It gives gives another little bit of personality. Um, this content person may have a scarf wrapped up here. Who knows? Could be winter. Maybe even a woolly hat. Don't be afraid of covering bits you've done before. If it adds to the picture, don't be afraid to do it. And then you can just rub out the bits. So there, suddenly just by giving that person a hat and scarf, you know, it just adds a little bit more to the picture. And tells the it tells a little bit more about the character and about what they're doing and where they are. We'll leave the zombie alone, maybe just give him a ripped t shirt or something. We'll not go too much into the body because it's just about expressions. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed that and picked up some good tips along the way. Remember, the best way to learn to draw anything is just to look around you and see how things are in real life and then develop your own cartoon style. The important thing is keep drawing.